Ubiquiti have just released their first additional extra into the Unify Access lineup. This is called the Unify Access Rescue Key Switch. What this small little device allows you to do is it provides you a manual key switch. In the event that the system malfunctions, then this allows anyone with the key to open the door. Now there isn't really too much to say about this, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this and have a look at what comes inside the box. And as you can see behind me just here, I have my Unify Access rig set up. If anyone watched my previous videos, then you'll know this is fairly familiar. So let's go ahead and see what comes inside this, and then we'll go ahead and get it mounted just here. So this is the box, it's fairly small, it says rescue on the side, and it has the, the picture of the thing at the front. Uh, it's just a pull tab, as you've come to expect with some Unify devices. So we just open this up, and inside here we have a cover at the front. It tells you about the rescue at the back, which is a little picture with a quick start guide. It has the key within, so let's go ahead and take this out. There we go. And this is the device just here. So it has the little, just familiar with the Unify Access bits at the back, it is made of plastic. Let's go ahead and see what else comes inside the box. You have the two keys, okay. So that's to unlock the door just here. You have some screws depending on how you're mounting this. So there's different options within and a quick start guide like you've come to see on some of the other ones or the terms of sale, should I say. And other than this cover at the front, I think that's about it. So there you go. Got a very faint Ubiquiti logo at the front here. And then this would just sit just on top like so. There you go. And that's covered. Now to get this mounted, it would be a case of just drilling a hole here. And there we go. Uh, I probably do advise you doing this outside because I've just literally covered myself in dust, but that is where the, this goes straight into here and it fits nice and snug at a 32 millimeter hole. So I'm going to quickly show you the cabling setup because it's a little bit easier to show you on here rather than on the demo rig itself. So the Unify access panel is here, we've plugged it in, it's powered up. We can see the two wires are already set up here and they would go normally into here now. I would recommend if you're not an electrician, again, make sure you get this done properly. The cabling I'm using may not be the correct standard for your country, so, and this is just for demo purposes. So we plug the common into the black and the normally closed into the red. And now you can see this is now Sure, you can see that it's now magnetic now. If I quickly show you the other way, if I quickly took these out, for example, got them in a bit of a model, but if I take that out, you can see that comes off quite easily, doesn't go on, but as soon as I pop this on, here we have the rescue key switch, and we've plugged the brown into normally open, and the blue into the common. So what we're gonna do here is just join these into here. So the blue goes into the blue, that's in. And for the brown, spin them together, just so they're working and there we go so that's now that's now connected back up again okay so let's go ahead and get this set up on the demo rig again so now that you have it all cabled up we go ahead and pop this in there we go that's in you would screw that in generally but I'm not going to do that at this point so we can see our door is currently closed we can't open it and we go ahead and turn this and the door opens and that will constantly now stay open until you go ahead and lock this again. It will then close up. So there we go, it's quite a simple tool. I'll say it before and I've said it in my previous videos, this has potential to be a really good product in terms of Unify Access, but there are many more areas that Ubiquiti need to cover to make this more commercial, enterprise ready. This would be perfectly fine for a small to medium business setup, but I'm not sure about the scalability of this product. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know down in the comments below if you have implemented Unify Access anywhere and how big your setup is. I would be intrigued to see how it's set up. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.